All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Paul Seegers, and we're just going to talk about uh, fitting galvanic anodes as a repair enhancer. So as you can see, what they've done here is they've actually cut out the damaged spoiled concrete, they've cleaned up the steel, and they've fitted a few galvanic anodes to the structure. What we're going to do next is we're going to actually carry out a preliminary test to make sure that the steel is electrically continuous and that the anodes, when they fix to the steel, are electrically continuous so that they will corrode and provide protection to the surrounding steel in the repair itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a multimeter and I'm going to select the ohm setting. So what we're going to do today is we're going to measure continuity between two points. The first thing I do is I take the test leads and I measure them against one another and I take a reading for continuity of the test leads. And the reading on this occasion is 0.1 ohms, which means that the two test leads are electrically continuous. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to validate that the actual existing steel is electrically continuous. So I'm going to take a measurement on this shiny bit of steel here, and I'm going to take another measurement on this shiny bit of link over here, and we've got a reading of less than 1 ohm. So that means that these two pieces of steel are electrically continuous, 0.1 ohms between them. I'm going to repeat this test at a multiple locations. So the next test I'm going to repeat at the bottom link, again, 0.2. It's really important that when you do this testing, you actually put the test leads onto shiny steel where you can actually see the corrosion product is removed. If you put the connection on a bit of rusty steel, what will happen is you don't actually get a good contact and it shows you that it's discontinuous. You see on the meter, you've got a reading in kilo ohms. That means that it's discontinuous. If I put my test leads on two shiny bits of steel, it will tell me that this piece of steel is one long piece and it's electrically continuous. So let's have a look, see? And it is less than one ohm. There we go, 0.9. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we now identify that the steel is electrically continuous. The next thing we're gonna carry out is we're gonna carry out a continuity test between the anodes which have been tied to the steel. And as you can see, the tire wire is connected to shiny pieces of steel and we're going to make sure that the anode wire is actually electrically continuous with the steel. So again, test the test leads to make sure you've got a good contact. Less than 1 ohm, so 0.3 in this occasion. I'm going to take my test lead and I'm going to put one of them on a shiny bit of steel and the other one on a bit of tire wire from the anode. Make sure I've got a good contact. And this, on this occasion it is Hold on. Point 0.6 ohms. So here you can see the anode is now electrically continuous with the steel. So this tells us that this anode is now continuous with the steel. We're now ready for the next phase of works, which is to carry out the concrete repair embedding the anodes. Once the anodes are physically embedded in the concrete, the anodes will corrode and provide localized protection to either side of the actual concrete repair, preventing what we call an incipient anode effect, where a repaired structure will continue to corrode on either side. So these anodes will provide protection to either side of the repair and provide a life extension to the actual concrete repair. All right, that's it for today. Thank you very much.